What's going on, Facebook? How is everybody doing this morning, huh? You guys doing okay? So, I have gotten quite a few different messages from people asking me about net neutrality, my position on it, and trying to explain it to them a little bit better because some people, they're just not catching on to how net neutrality re is going to respond with them as people and citizens in the United States and how it affects them. Because a lot of the stuff is not being handled within the realm of everybody knows and is on the same page. This is, handling, is being handled behind the boards and behind things that are going on. And so not everybody understands exactly what's going on with net neutrality. So I'm just going to try to explain this to you guys as best I can for the layman. That's the whole purpose, to, to, to describe this for the layman. So how net neutrality, how is this affecting you? How, how, how can I give an analogy to where you'll be able to see this and go, okay, I understand now. Well, I've come up with the best example. Now, we have colors, right? Colors in the world. Red, yellow, blue, green, black, white, indigo, violet, this color, that color. We have tons of colors in the world. And everybody has the right and access to use all the colors in the world at any time for anything. So if you started a business up last year, you went and just chose your logo and the way your logo will look, the colors that will be associated with your, com uh, with your company and everything else. And it didn't cost you a single dime. All you had to do is pay the designer to make the logo and you know you had to pay the printer to get the signs and stuff printed up. But as far as the color goes, like there was no, nothing, nothing to it. Okay, now what's happening today would be the equivalent of the government coming down and saying, all right, you know how everybody has access to all the colors in the world and every color can be used at any time by any person. Okay, well, we as the government of the United States have decided that the colors red, blue, yellow, black, and white, those five colors, you're no longer able to use those for free. If you have a company that has a logo with one of those colors in it, okay? You're gonna have to pay for the right to use these colors from here on out. So it doesn't necessarily affect you who's already had a business, all right? But at the same point, they might be able to make these rules retroactive to people who started the company a year ago, two years ago, three years ago, five years ago. And they're gonna retroactively charge you for those things. Now that's not gonna happen with net neutrality. This is where the equation of net neutrality to this color thing kicks in to normal gear, okay? From here on out, anybody who creates a new business, anybody who makes a move and needs to use a color is gonna have to pay money. So if you wanted to use teal, go ahead. Use teal all you want. It isn't gonna cost you a single dime. We're not gonna charge you anything for teal. Just do it now. For those other colors I mentioned, your logo's got red in it. Uh-oh. Well, that's going to cost you money. You're going to have to pay to use the color red from here on out. And you're going to have to pay to use it every single time you use it. So we're going to have to come up with some way that you're charged in a yearly format to use the color red in your logos, your letterheads, your business, anything associated with you. As long as the color red's there, you're going to have to pay for it. Oh, and, and, and by the way, this is going to affect TV and it's going to affect movies and it's going to affect pol politicians and stuff like that. Because if a politician decides to use the color red or blue in any of their uh, stuff that they're going to use to promote for campaigns, they're going to have to pay a fee to use the color red or the, or the color blue. Now, they can use any other color, just not those five colors I mentioned. And that's basically how net neutrality works. You're going to have to pay for certain things more than others. Others will be completely free. You'll be able to completely use those at all times, but you'll have to pay for these things more. So where the net neutrality comes in, like that's, that's why they say, so if you like the, the website YouTube, well, the government's going to charge YouTube, the FCC, charge YouTube under these new guidelines to be able to handle the bandwidth. So if they already had hundreds of millions of people coming to their website a day, 
to use that bandwidth, which didn't cost anybody any money other than their normal fee that they pay to the cable provider or the internet provider that they have, it's going to start charging YouTube on the back. They're going to start taxing them. That means YouTube's going to have to turn around. They're going to have to be like, oh, well, since we're getting charged, we're going to pass the buck on to you, middle class, normal person who has a job, works their butt to the bone 40 to 50 hours a week. We're going to charge you. If you like something on YouTube, you're going to have to pay extra to use YouTube. And YouTube's going to have to pay us money to allow the bandwidth to continue going in at the rate it was. Basically, they're starting to charge for bandwidth and not in the typical sense that you've already been paying. They're going to start uniquely charging for bandwidth. The next move, guys, and I, and I hate to say this, but it could be weird, water, right? All human beings need water. Water is technically free as long as you can find an outlet for water. But what if they started charging for every drink you took every single time, whether it was out of a tap or out of a bottle? Doesn't matter. They charge you for it every time. That's where we're at. That's net neutrality. That's, that's the best way I can explain it. So there you go, guys. Net neutrality for the layman. There you go. If you need have any questions, you can ask them in the little area down below. Or you can just hit me up directly. You can follow me on Twitter, at Mark Bland, M-A-R-K-B-L-A-N-D. See you guys later.